Hey, what's up guys? It's January 28th. I just finished my last class. 21 lessons today on a Monday. So I just finished my last one at 9 p.m. Thai time, 10 p.m. Beijing time. And in today's video lesson is just the most appropriate video that I can think of right now after teaching all these lessons is how to gear and guide the new generation of TEFL teachers into this field, into this amazing career and opportunity. It really is. So if you are new to TEFL or even if you're experienced, just, you know, this video is going to be really great. And I, you know, real quickly before I, I say I love teaching, but I also like guidance counseling. And I felt like through middle school, even of course through elementary, but in high school, I had like a guidance counselor. It was one time where they really cared and they listened and I took this test and just for the first time, it wasn't about test scores. It wasn't about calculations or grammar or whatever it was when you're in high school. And the guidance counselor like listened to me and like was trying to find out what made me happy and what I could do with my future because I was always thinking about what I could do with my future. So in today's video, it's kind of like a little bit of guidance and advice and things that if I was 24 again, and if I finished my bachelor degree, what would I do? So this is exactly what I would do, and this is my personal recommendation. So if you finish school, my personal recommendation is if you're looking to teach English and travel and make money, then you're going to need to get your TEFL certification, of course. And a, but without a doubt, I'm going to recommend text and talk in Bangkok, Thailand. In my description, you can click into the link. You'll see it. And if you want to teach English online right now, you can also click into that link. There's a lot of great links in my descriptions now. I've done my best to update that. Took a lot of extra time to try to really bring more opportunities to the table here on this YouTube channel for people. So anyway, you need your TEFL certification. It's great for so many reasons. It's going to give you access to the schools. It's going to give you access to online companies. And also, just in the a little bit of time that I've been you know, working and communicating with the people in Bangkok and the team there, not only are they honest and experienced and reliable and responsible, all those great things, but they have a, they genuinely care, you know. And I'm going to do a video conference with them on Wednesday and get to learn more about them and things like that. So you got to get your course now. Three minutes in, I'm going to try to get this in less than ten minutes, guys. Thank you for your time. I really appreciate this. I really want to get this message out. Get your TEFL certification. You got that? Okay, boom. Now, you're probably thinking about this before, but where are you going to teach? Is it going to be in Thailand? Is it going to be in Vietnam? Is it going to be in China or Laos or Cambodia? Like, where are you looking to go teach? Is it going to be in Spain? Is it going to be someplace in Europe? Or are you going to go to Latin America and South America or Central America? You know, there's so many choices. But if you're looking for a solid foundation, consistent contracts, easy access and just literally fill with so many opportunities China Thailand Vietnam without a doubt are the the best options and there's just so many people that are right that are there in those countries right now and then I'm communicating with them and some of them are coming back to Thailand because they say Vietnam is a great time but there's something that brings a lot of people back to Thailand and I just love it here. So the thing that you need to remember is when you're starting out, you need to get experience on your resume. It's it's a truth. You need that. So I would recommend one to two years. So yes, you can get into online teaching after you get certified. If you just want to do that, then that's cool. But my personal recommendation for the experience, for the memories, for the personal I know I said personal experience, but you need to know what it's like to be in a classroom and with in a school with administration, with other co-teachers and working together as a team, not just by yourself online. And when you do that, you're going to become a better person, a better communicator, a better listener, etc. 
And you need this on your resume too. So once you get one year or two years done, you know, you most likely sign a six month to a one year contract. If you can stay on for two years, that's great. If, you're not, if it's not for you, then hey, that's, that's your freedom. That's what you have when you've, you got your bachelor's and your certification course, your TEFL finished. So it's up to you. It's completely up to you. But that's just my biggest tip, uh, piece of advice, especially at me after teaching over, I think it was like eight years in public school, all different grades, all different levels and school districts and school systems and different states. Um, and I just learned a lot. And now the reason why I can share so much of this stuff is because I've had both, been on both ends of the spectrums. I've been on the, 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 the other end of the spectrum of teaching in schools extensively and consistently and with so many different, like, so many different things that are going on and like gym teacher, music teacher, art teacher, math teacher, English teacher, high school, middle school, elementary, special ed, people, uh, students with cerebral palsy. Now you're not going to be getting into this stuff when you're doing TEFL, of course. Um, maybe we have some, some, some situations and cases with some special stuff, uh, special needs students, but it's not going to be like that. You know, I was, this is like public schools back home in America, but I say that and I share that because having both experiences is going to make you just a better person altogether. And then if you decide that you love online teaching, you're going to appreciate it more and you're going to understand what it's like instead of just having online teaching to fall back on. Okay. Now, once you've finished, you know, your year or your two years and you're, and by the way, guys, as I mentioned, you can teach English online once you got your, your course finished. So an, a really great money opportunity, a money grabber and a great experiential and boosting your teaching hours is to teach English online. And of course, Palfish. And you're welcome to use my referral link in the description. And just click into the link. So when you get on to Palfish or when you're teaching English online, do it in the evenings. After you finish the school, you know, school's gonna be morning and then kind of like early, maybe mid afternoon. And then you come home, you know, grab a snack, grab some food, relax and then teach online for two or three hours. You know, just do it. You got, you're got you young, say you get that money going and do something with it. And then on the weekends, you know, don't just go out and party and go to the bars and waste your money and waste your time and be surrounded with people who are not really goal oriented, like living a life that's like a prophecy, like a destiny, like I'm per you're purpose driven. You gotta hang out with people that are purpose driven when they wake up in the morning. And you're gonna see your life totally miraculously change. But if you hang out with the same people who are just demotivated or halfway motivated, well, you're gonna be halfway motivated too. And when you're halfway motivated, well, that's not gonna be a probability of developing good habits. So with all that being said, you can teach online in the evening and on the weekend, build up your hours. And then when you finish your contract, if teaching online is the way to go for you as a TEFL career, which a lot of people are getting onto, there's no, there's no way out of it. You know, there's so many people that are coming to online teaching and with many good reasons. And then it goes back to this. Look, some of you guys and gals might be watching this video and are not 24, right? I'm not 24. And... I've, some people might be back home in America with family or with kids and they are going to stay there and they're committed to their family and their kids and that's, that's wonderful, that's beautiful and they're going to teach online and do that in the hours that are possible. But for people who, I'm not, and I'm not trying to say like, oh, you know, people who are free. No, look, it's, it's, it's great. Look, we all make choices and we all put ourselves in situations and we, we make that, we make those choices. And I'm just trying to tell people like, if, if you are in a situation like that really quickly, then like, I, I, I say that because one of the teachers, Nikki, she's like an inspiration. She should be the one up here talking about, she's, she's doing a wonderful job. She's teaching so many classes a day. She has a family. She's got like four kids, I think. And they just moved into a new house or something. So like, She's buckled down at her house 
staying focused, taking care of her kids, and teaching English to Lionel Pellfish, doing her thing. And so that's just something to keep in the back of your mind, okay? For some of the people that are watching this video. On the other side, if you are single, or you don't have someone in your life and you're just teaching English abroad and you're kind of like just going with the wind and going with the flow, that's okay. But you know, it's either, you know, I'm 32 now, so I'm not 22. And I realize and I see a lot of things that I did not see before. So basically, your life is either going to go in a couple different ways. It's like either you're going to stay single for a long time and just live that up and do the dating life and stuff like that and however long that lasts and then either you're going to just keep doing that for the rest of your life or you're going to be a loner hermit right don't have anybody in your life and just be sucked at everything online and not have a social life that could happen too you know and then of course you're going to get into a relationship and then you know get probably get married or something like that. So I know this is like sounds serious and stuff, but you know, we if we go back to the beginning, you know, you finish school, you're getting your TEFL certification, teaching out of school for a little bit, getting that teaching experience, the hands-on first in person and dealing with administration and responsibilities and curriculum and writing rest lesson plans and submitting them. And then, you know, getting that, you know, getting that in the dirt getting that in the soil. And then, boom. If you've already teaching online a little bit, maybe it's time to go full time, you know? And save that money. And just literally, like, all I've been doing here, this place is, like, not a really big condo at all. Like, I mean, it's perfect for what we have right now, but if you're by yourself and you're single, or even if you got, you know, if you're in a relationship, you need to find a place for, like, six months or 12 months and do nothing all day and night and just dedicate all your time to online teaching and then everything else outside the classroom like marketing yourself video moments live courses talking to followers messaging people doing you know sometimes i remember i did free talk on palfish for like i had a two-hour conversation one time i'm serious you know with no break, it was just like full and I'd have an hour conversation with some people. And so, you know, anyway, I just, and by the way, I want to tell you guys, the other thing that I wanted to say was to some of you guys and gals who are really watching this and you really love teaching and you believe that you got a great voice or that you're really great on video, um, China is probably without a doubt the best place to go in terms of um, opportunity with when it comes to teaching English because of course population uh, financial resources the infrastructure and the interest so and in, you know even not even that just the ecosystem built around teaching English and English teachers and English rec teacher recruiting that it's going on in, in China it's it's massive so you know you could make a lot of money in China you really could you can make a lot of money teaching English online in America, you know? But if you're just starting out and you're trying to take like a classes and teach people, the reason why I say all this is because when you're on Palfish, you're, if you're doing what you're supposed to do, you're gonna meet a lot of people who will say, hey, come to China and teach a class. There'll be 12 people and we'll pay you $60 an hour. You know, it could be more. But no one's gonna do that unless you are making progress you're taking action and you're taking action on a massive scale you know so anyway i think i pretty much got into everything yeah and also if you're looking for something super relaxed and you don't like big city you don't like a big population go to laos <laughs> go to Laos. i would highly recommend that because it's you know, it's a landlocked country. There's no sea. You know, you got Myanmar, Thailand, China, Cambodia, Vietnam. It's like all, it's like all, like right in the middle, all bunched in, you know. And it's just like this really super chill, relaxed place. And, um, 
you know, when I went there, a lot of unexpected things that I found made the trip better than I thought it was going to be. And kind of crazy because I'd been to Laos many times before it, but I didn't know about these things until like the last two trips. So anyway, you guys, thank you so much for everything on this YouTube channel. I'm losing my voice right now. I need to get some sleep. 21 classes, as I mentioned today. And um, it's just, you know, every day this week, I got 20 tomorrow and then on the 30th, I got to go to the DMV, get a new driver license here in Thailand. So it's going to be 3 p.m. to 9 p.m. But that's going to be like a huge break. It's going to be like a Sunday, you know, and not, no morning and lunch classes. And then boom, Thursday and Friday, back to 20, 21, class day 22. And then Saturday, I'm taking the day off. I'm just going to put, I might even go get a massage, go get in that herbal steam room. And if you guys have any questions, again, and by the way, every I've seen a lot of new people commenting and asking questions on my videos, and good questions and good, like complete sentences and a little bit of formality to it, which I, I prefer and I really like, because that's how we can get to more educational stuff here, where people can become build more awareness and build more consciousness about what Tefl really is and how to teach better and how to save money and how to just totally transform your life you know so anyway i love this i can talk and do it all day but you know i gotta cut the video i gotta go to sleep you guys have a great day and um just keep going you know i've trying to give you as many tips as i can with every video and leaving a lot of things and steps along the way so that's it for now signing off tomorrow's tuesday january 29th it's a beautiful life. It's a wonderful world. Make the most out of it. 2019, it's here. So make the most of it. Make it the best year ever. Thank you guys so much.